Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, I am going to start producing videos a bit more frequently than I have been. I'm gonna shoot for three a week. Um, as you know, this isn't my full-time job, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not, but we'll give it a shot. Just wanna have more content out there for you guys to watch. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback lately, so uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about that, and if you have any suggestions for things that you know we can do in the future. Okay, today I wanna to talk about checking the speed um, and pitch of your record player. Now, if you have a turntable like this uh, that's got a built-in strobe, which is this guy and this, um, you can actually do it you know, with just the turntable itself. This is the Crosley C100. Haven't seen this for a while, guys. It's been in storage, it's back out again. It's my main player. Um, and what it does, it has a series of dots along with a strobing light, and it just looks solid to the naked eye, but it's actually strobing. Um, that allows you to see if your record player is playing truly at 45 RPM, 33 RPM, or if it's a little slow, a little fast. Obviously, that's important because that's going to impact the pitch of the music. So, the, you know, it'll sound too low or too high. Um, so you want that as accurate as possible. Now, we're not even going to go into 78s that are recorded at 80 RPM and stuff like that. But in terms of the basics, 33s and 45s, um, you know, how can you test that? Um, so there's two major ways. One, I'm going to go over again. We reviewed this when we, uh, we, we talked about this when we reviewed this record player. Um, but this has a built-in one. So I'm going to start the turntable. Now, uh, depending on your, if your region is 50 hertz or 60 hertz, um, you're going to be looking at either the top two sets of dots or the bottom two sets of dots. In the United States, we're at 60 hertz. Um, in the UK, you guys are at 50 hertz. Um, so it'll give you the same information, but it just depends. Okay, so now I'm going to try, oh, you can see it pretty good. So right now I'm at 45 RPM, and you can see the dots right there. Um, they are moving back, which means that our pitch is off. Um, so those should be still, if uh, they should appear still, if uh, we're doing a true 45 uh, RPM. So if we look over here, this record player has a pitch control. Uh, which basically is a speed control for the turntable and what happens is I need to adjust this while looking over here at those dots. So we're going to adjust it until we get it there. You can see it goes too fast. We need to get it still. So we're going to go up. So I've got it at about three right now and right about there. So right about, that's about three, yeah. And it's creeping back down so it's a little bit too much but it's close. They should be pretty much stationary. That's pretty good. And even if they're marching a teensy weensy bits one way or another, it's it's close enough. Um, but now watch this. We switch the speed to 33 RPM. That set of dots went blurry, and the next set of dots um, became visible. And again, same control um, to make sure we're at 33. I'm going to try and get a better focus down there. To get a better, or to get the proper speed, I'm going to adjust the slider on the pitch control. In this case, I need to go up a little bit more, so about three and a half, and there you go. So we are at 33 RPM, and then at 45, we were set as for, at 45 as well. So now we know that that record is truly spinning at the intended 33 RPM. So that's an awesome feature, you guys. If you have a turntable that has that, um, then uh, that's great. However, many of us don't have this feature, so what do we do? Do not despair there is an alternative option, so check this out. Okay, so if you don't have a turntable that has that feature, if, it does, if you don't have a turntable that doesn't have a strobe or pitch control, you need both, um, and you have a turntable like this, which is this trusty uh, Crosley Collegiate, I love this thing. Um, this is my go-to portable uh, turntable. Um, it's also my go-to uh, 78 player, because the uh, C100 doesn't play 78s. What do you do? How do you check your speeds? Um, you know, even the best turntables, you know, can have errors in their playback speed. So you want to make sure that your turntable is playing at, you know, the, the speed that it says it is. Um, now, on this one, I won't be able to adjust it, but I can at least check it. Okay, so take a look at this. This is my iPhone, and there is an app called RPM. Now, if you um, have an iPhone, it's in the iOS store. And um, if you have an Android, it is, there's knockoff versions that do a similar job. I believe this is free, too. 
What this does is it allows you to sip your iPhone or your smartphone on the uh, turntable itself and it will measure um, the actual speed of that uh, rotating uh, uh, record or record player. So it'll tell you um, if you're doing an accurate 33 or not or 45 or whatever it happens to be. Um, this one and some of them have this cool feature where you can unlock um, the center dial. So as it's rotating, it, you, can, you can read it easier. So all you gotta do is stick it on there like that. Um, sorry, the screen protector is a little thick, makes it look a little dirty. And by the way, I'm kind of uh, ticked off. They, uh, Apple obsoleted my iPhone SE. It's a great phone. And it's good for a situation like this because it's small enough that, um, you know, it's, you know, a, a big phone may not fit on here as well as a small one. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and, oops, it would help if I knew how to operate this thing. Okay, what on? Oh, it's off, Kevin. Okay, great. There we go. Alrighty then. So, um, let's see if we can get that viewable. So, right now it is spinning, according to this, at 34.41. And now I've got an error message from Apple. So, hold on a second. Let's put it back on there. Good grief, how many ads? Okay, there are ads. But again, if you got no other alternative, it's a great feature. So, I'm looking at it now. It's a little hard to see on the camera. I apologize. But it's showing me it's spinning at 34.41. So it is spinning a bit fast. Now let's switch speeds um, from 33 to 45. And we just leave it on there. So now we're going 45. Okay, it's confused because I didn't pull it off in between. Okay, let's, let's reset it here. I am going to reset it and we'll start again. Yes, I know. Blah, 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 blah unlock the thing so I can see it. Okay, 45 RPM. It says 46.2729-ish. So, this turntable is a bit fast. Interesting to know. And again, that kind of variable, you're not going to be able to hear it. But, it is good to know. Okay, we're doing 78 now. Let me grab this thing off. And let's try it again. Apparently, it's hard to switch between speeds while it's running, but... Let's try 78 here. Okay. Okay, and it's just spinning. Wow, that's really hard to read. 80.15. So, and then once you pull it off, it actually has uh, various statistical data uh, that you can pull up. So, let's see here. Which, for what, I got a nice hair on there. Hmm. For whatever reason, it didn't save it. But it's supposed to save, um, it's supposed to show a graph of, you know, the performance of the turntable and whatnot. Um, let's try that again. Let's go back down to 33 and let's put it on there. 33 point, so it's basically one RPM too fast. And the ad came up. You can tell we don't, you know, fake anything on this show, you guys. It is what it is. Apologize you can't see that as well. Um, all right. Let's see. So yeah, there we go. So it shows you the percentage too. So it's 0.2 or it's 2.85% too fast at that speed. And there at the bottom, uh, it shows you some statistical data and it keeps a record too. Like you can actually log your uh, turntables performance. So anyway, that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. This is a good way to check turntable speeds, uh, for record players that you can't adjust with, a or view with a strobe and adjust with a pitch control. Uh, so I hope you thought that was enjoyable. Please comment down below if you, if you know of a better app uh, that does the same thing, if you've had better success with one. This RPM one is an iOS app. There is alternatives in the uh, Google Play Store. I haven't tried all of them yet. Um, but let me know how you like best to test something like that. Um, I think that that is uh, something that's pretty beneficial. Um, oh yeah, here's a quick bonus tip. For those of you that have the Collegiate, again, I really recommend this player. You're not going to notice a one RPM difference, I guarantee you. So don't let that disturb you. And besides, yours may be spot on. Another one may be, you know, 1% under. It's just, uh, that's, that's why there's a pitch adjust. Because even the C100 has a variant. I can go in there and turn it on now, and it may need a different adjustment. It's just the nature of the beast, and it's, uh, 
what comes with the territory when you're, you're using a belt driven mechanism. Um, these actually have a hidden ability to adjust tracking force back here. So one of my viewers told me about this. You can actually rotate this metal piece in the back here and increase or decrease your tracking force if you have one of these turntables with a moving magnetic cartridge there, that AT. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. As always, happy, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.